Welcome to Maths with M's. Grade 9, Lesson 7, Direct and Indirect Proportion. Please don't forget to give me a big like and subscribe. Proportion. When quantities are presented in the form A is to B equals to C is to D, or in fractional form A over B equals to C over D, then we are dealing with a proportion. So in other words, when two ratios are equal. Now let's first look at direct proportion. So when two quantities increase or decrease in the same ratio, we say that they are in direct proportion to each other. For instance, look at one third is the same as 2 over 6. We can all agree with that. We look at the yellow and blue circles or look at the dog, the, the length of the head and the length of the body of the two dogs. The one dog is 10 is to 20, the other dog is 15 is to 13. So they are both, if you simplify them, a half. So therefore they are in direct proportion. So x is directly proportional to y if x over y is a constant. x and y are directly proportional if, as the value of x increases, the value of y increases, and as the value of x decreases, the value of y decreases <coughs> in the same proportion. The direct proportional relationship is represented by a straight line, or we can also call it a linear graph. Look at the example, if you compare uh, distance to time, if it's a straight line, it is definitely a direct proportion. We can also look at uh, temperature and volume. As temperature, as volume increase, temperature increase, so therefore, or we can say as Temperature increase, volume increase. So that's also an example of a direct proportion. So look at the example. Sam tried using a ladder, tape measure, ropes, and various other things, but still couldn't work out how tall the tree was. But then Sam has a clever idea. Similar triangles. Sam measures a stick and its shadow, and also the shadow of the tree, and this is what he gets. So remember, H is the height or the tallness of the tree that was unknown, but he could measure the length of the shadow and also the stick. He could measure the height and the length. So if you use direct proportion, H over 2,9 equals 2,4, 1,3, then you can, by use of cross multiplication, find the height of the tree. Let's look now at indirect proportion. Two quantities x and y are inversely or indirectly proportional to each other if the value of x increases and the value of y decreases. And as the value of x decreases, the product of the values is constant. So therefore, x times y is a constant, so the product. An indirect proportional relationship is represented by a non-linear curve. Look at the example there. If you compare volume to pressure, then you know, we all know it is indirectly. The, if you lower pressure, the volume increase. So that is how it works indirectly. Example, a farmer hires 12 men to construct a building. The building is completed in 18 days. If he had hired 24 men, the job would have been completed in half the time. If he had hired 6 men, the job would make twice as long to complete. But it's true, people, that more hands, less work. So more men will take less time and less men will take more time. So if you work it out mathematically, 12 over 24 times 18 gives you 9 days. And the other one is 12 over 6, that gives you 36 days. So that makes perfectly sense. So the proportion is then 12 is to 24 equals to 9 is to 18. And of course, you can say 
12 into 6 is 7, 36 is to 18. So there you are, in direct proportion. Tao wanted to build a doll's bed for his sister, Mariam. He measured his parents' bed and found it was 2 meter long and 1.5 meter wide. He wanted to make the doll's bed 20 centimeters long. How wide should he make it so that the ratios are the same as his parents' bed? It takes, okay, let's first do number one. So, solutions and 2 meters is the same as 200 centimeters and 1.5 meter is the same as 150 centimeters. The proportion is ratio of parents' bed is to ratio of doll's bed. So they were 200 is to 150 is the same as 20 is to x because x is the unknown. Cross multiply, like the fraction, cross multiply, and therefore you get x 15 centimeters. So that is how wide the bed should be. Look at number two. It takes five pipes 18 hours to fill a dam. Determine how long three and nine pipes will take to fill. To fill the dam, of course. So if, the, if it takes five pipes 18 hours, how long will it take three pipes? So there you are. Five is to three is the same as x is to 18. So there you are. So five thirds equals to x over 18 cross multiply and you get 30 hours. Or... 5 over 9 times x over 18, if you cross multiply, you get 10 hours. Alright, I hope you like this very short video on, on direct and indirect proportion. This is uh, uh, Ahmed Suleiman. Please make sure you give me a huge like and subscribe.